Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahalar Yahweh Bashim Yahshah Bashim Kwakwadash. Double honest to that apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yaki Mount there on the highways and byways, noise and spread abroad all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. So I want to talk about, um, I want to touch on this scripture here. Um, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. You know, because right now, you know, when we when we go out there on the highways and byways and we and we preach this word, you know, and we say certain things, you notice that our videos they get taken down, you know. Because what what's happening now is that we're approaching the end. And the more and more closer that we get to the end, you know, the more the more, you know, this devil he's gonna come come clamping down on us because like it says in hebrews chapter no excuse me um revelations 12 and 12 where it says rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he got but a short time so the more and more time goes on you know the more and more you know this devil he's gonna clamp down you know, and at the end of the day, all we're speaking is just words, you know. And you gotta understand that words have power, especially if you're especially if you're um preaching the word of the Lord, you know. If you're teaching the word of the Lord, you best believe there's power in in, in the word of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. And, you know, and that's all we need. You know. Because we're fighting this devil with, with power. We're not really getting physical yet, you know. It's not that time yet. So we're just bringing out the word. Because the word itself, you know, pre, you know, teaching truth itself has power in it, you know. And let me just um, get the scripture. Um, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. And it reads, For the word of the Lord... For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. You see? So the word of the Lord is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So when we bring out the word, when we're out there on the highways and byways, you know, this is why people, they just can't take, you know. This is why that saying goes, you can't handle the truth. And, and, and it's a true statement. You know, people, they just can't handle the truth, you know. Teaching truth nowadays is, is becoming a crime, you know. If, you, if you're just preaching truth, you know, that's becoming more and more of a crime now. You know, just teaching truth itself. You know, and people, they just can't handle the truth, you know. This is why, this is why, why you think Yahweh Shai was being persecuted the way he was being persecuted, you know, when he was on the earth. Um, tw um, 2,000 years ago because he was preaching truth. You know? Everything Yahweh Shai did was about truth. You know? He stood on truth and he, and he taught truth. This is why these scribes and these, these wicked scribes and Pharisees, they couldn't handle that. You know? This is why they got Yahweh Shai killed. You know? If it was up to them, they would they will kill Yahweh Shai himself themselves. But you know, it wasn't up to them. But it was all, you know, it was all it was all in the Most High's divine, you know, plan. But the point of the matter is that they couldn't handle the truth. This is why you know Yahweh Shai wasn't received as for many people, because Yahweh Shai spoke truth and he was cutting them scribes and Pharisees. So. You know, they got all in their feelings, and this is why they wanted to kill Yahweh Shai. They wanted to, you know, every moment they wanted to fight, you know, Yahweh Shai. Because just like now, you know, it's no different than us today. Because we're working for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. The true men of the Lord out there, you know, that's that's preaching this word diligently and faithfully and in truth. You know, we're like unto Yahweh Shai. We represent Yahweh Shai. So when we go out there and we preach this word, you know, people can't take it. They're ready to fight. They're ready to cut. They're cussing us out. You know, 
They're throwing fruit, water, coffee <laughs> at us, you know, spitting at us, you know. So the, these are all the things that the men of the Lord went through, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, went through. Why? Because we were bringing out the word of the Lord. We were bringing out the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know. It's no different than today, you know. Here it is, you know, we bring out truth, we bring out these videos, and we put them on air, you know what I'm saying, and the, pe and the powers that be always takes them down, because this is why we got to, you know, talk in a certain way, because the truth is powerful, you know, the truth is, the truth just gets, one thing about truth, once you start speaking truth, it only gets... And once it starts building that momentum, it just gets powerful and powerful, like a snowball effect, you know. And, you know, people, they just can't take that, you know. So, reading on. Even to divide, even to divide, um, dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows. And it's a discerning, discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart, you see. So when we bring out the word of the Lord, you know, it goes straight with deep down within your soul, you know, and people can't take that. This is why people don't like us. You know, this is why the truth is not popular. You know, you have a whole bunch of lies and less truth, you know. But right now, the truth is getting out there. And there's nothing that this devil he could do to stop it at the end of the day. Because once the truth starts to build momentum and momentum, you know, like like I said, like like that snowball effect. Once it once that snowball effect starts to build momentum and that snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger, there's no way you're stopping that. <laughs> you, there's no way you're stopping that snowball, you know, because eventually that snowball ends up turning into an avalanche. And, you know, and, and ain't no man stopping no, no a avalanche now. And that, that's, how, that's how this truth is, you know. This truth, you know, is starting to build momentum now. Now it's starting, it, now it's starting to... So, like, yeah, I was just... I got twisted up in my thoughts. But now it's starting to build momentum. And now this stuff, we can't stop it now. Because it's, 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 it's too powerful. You know? So this is why, you know, he's doing what he's doing right now, you know, with brother's videos and things like that. Because now, you know, prophecy is coming to pass. You know, the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of the word of the Lord, everything that was written, you know, is now coming to pass. You know, because if it was if it was like just us that that that's speaking out of our own heart, this this word wouldn't come to nothing, you know. Like it says in um in the book of Acts, the fifth chapter, you know, I believe, you know, the 34th verse or the 36th verse, you know, that, you know, if this would, if this work be of men, it would come to naught. But if it be of the most high, you cannot overthrow it, you know. So this is all of the works of Yahweh by Shem Yashai at the end of the day. You know, just like our Lord said, you know, his word would not go out void. Yeah, there we go. So this is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 13. And it reads, Behold, the day come, saith the Lord, that the plower shall overtake the reaper, and that the treader of grapes he that soweth seed. 
and the mountains shall drop sweet wine and all the hills shall melt you know what i'm saying so who is that plow man that plow man represents us you know the bro the, the hopeful elect you know that are out there on, on the highways and byways that's preaching his word diligently and in, and, and faithfully you know we represent that plow man and right now the plow man is starting to overtake the reaper who's the reaper you know the so-called white man and, and his system so now that we're bringing out the truth you know this truth is overtaking you know everything that this devil done done on build his lies upon now we're we're dispelling his lies and his bullshit through through the through the word of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. You know, we're dispelling all of his bullshit through this truth. You know, the word of the Lord. When we go out and bring out the word of the Lord, we're dispelling his lies. You know, we're dispelling his his trickery. You know, his witchcraft. You know, so we're overtaking the reaper. You know which that represents us, the men of the Lord that are out there pushing this word diligently and faithfully, you know, through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 14, And I will bring again the captivity of my people, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and grapes and drink of the wine thereof. They shall not make garden and eat and eat the fruit of them and i will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land which i gave them save the lord thy god you know what i'm saying so right now we're overtaking the reaper which is esau by bringing out this truth bringing out this word and teaching it on the highways and byways this is how this thing is building momentum you know so we're in this present captivity right now, but right now we're waking up, you know, the elect men and women, you know, are waking up, you know, we're waking up to the fact that we're Israelites and that we're the true people of the Lord, you know, and Esau, Edom, you know, he don't like that, you know, this is why he's doing everything he can to try to suppress it, but there's only so much he could do, you know, because right now we're over, <laughs> we're overtaking him by the way it, by way of prophecy and when his kingdom goes down when his kingdom is finally annihilated by the way of those thermonuclear missiles then our lord Yahweh shy you know is gonna put us back into our own land and this time once we get put up once we get put in our land and once we get set up as kings and priests you know we're never ever gonna leave our land again you know we're gonna remain in our land forever you know we're never ever gonna go into captivity, you know. So this is the last merry-go-round, you know. But this word of, but the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has power, and you know when we bring out the word of the Lord, you know, what I'm saying demons tremble, you know. They tremble, you know. That's how power, that's how much power this word has. That's how much power, you know, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is. You know, and nobody could gang say and do nothing against it, you know. So with that, you know, hope this lesson was edifying. I'm gonna give all praises and glories due to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakwakwadash, Shalom.